hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt and today i'm going to show you url hacking in the salesforce lightning so if you are new in this channel so please do subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, please watch this video until end let's get it started without any further delay so now here you can see i just logged in into my org now i'm going to show you how to hack the url in the salesforce lightning so suppose let me open any application as we have let's say sales application is a standard application and uh, just open this application so whenever you create any new contact on this uh, yorg so now you can see if you want to create any new contact regarding this contact object so let's say here if you want to create new contact just click on new and you can see all the new fields right but i need some pre-populate values at the time of new account creation so how to do that so we can perform this thing with the help of url hacking so just you have to do you have to change your url with this one i want to put default value under the first field this value that is called test contact in the first field uh, first name field value so by default you will be see this value that is called test contact under the first name so how to do that just hit the enter key and it's a automatic populate under the first name so now you can see first name have some default value that is called test contact because we already put put it this uh, default value in the url so you can put any number of values under the url based on your need but this is the way to hacking the url in the salesforce lightning i need and i have another use case let's say if you want to create any contact regarding this account let's say account account having related list of the contact now you can see the contact new so i need to create some like you know uh, buttons and links under this related list so how to do that i want to show you and once you try to create a new contact at the time of the new creation of this contact you will be see default values in this uh, related account so how to do that just let me go to the contacts first of all let me edit this object like edit this object and here under the object we have lots of things let's say uh, fields relationship and all the things right just click on this button links and button and click on this new button or links under here just you have to create let's say create new contact so this is the label and this is the name of this one and choose list button everything leave it as it is and here we have to put some formulas or merge field we can say that so how to do that now you can see under here we need to check the new contact how to create the new contact under this one so once you click on this new now you can see the here so just copy this base url to new and question mark till question mark so just copy and paste it here but let me show you no need worry about this base url because this is used for the development purpose so leave it as it is so now here new contact after this question mark you have to use that default values we already seen right so how to use that so just you have to type like default field values cost you anything as you have right so let's say i need field values so always check this field values after that let's say i need last name so you know last name is required under the contact that's why i'm putting here and this is the binding expression of the like if you want to take some field from the account so always use this expression like exclamatory account dot name for example purpose then comma i need phone number as well let's say phone and i want to put here let's say account dot phone or if you need another field so you can use that let's say i want to take uh, another field if you need it otherwise leave it as it is based on your requirement so now you can see default values 
this default values after that you have to check this syntax is correct or not now you can see no syntax error is successfully valid so just save it click on this ok button and here you can see one button is created here that is called button links and actions so how to use that so just go to the setup under the object manager open the account because I need to add this into the page layout so how to uh, so the page layout just open the page layout here and this is the default one just let me open this account layout and click on this uh, related list under the related list you can see this related list just click on this setting icon collapse or here that is called columns expand this buttons now you can see the new create new contact just select from left to right and click on this ok button so once you click on this ok button now you can see here under the related list just after that you have to save it so let me save it and let's see it's working or not so just close it click on this account open the any account record here and let me refresh it first of all because we already added the you know uh, here you can see the related buttons right just click on this one and just please observe we already put some fields like phone number and names under the contact so by default it will be come so just click on this create new contact and here you can see by default some field automatic populate this one we already populate the uh, phone number and the last name is coming from the account because we already put some formula or we can say there's some expression under the uh, quick buttons link and quick buttons so now you can see all the fields populated values by default right regarding this field and this field so I need to populate this website field as well under the contact if you want to create a new contact regarding this account so you cannot see any kind of like website fields under this contact object right so we already seen like last name and uh, phone number is automatic coming from you know uh, accounts so I need one another field here that is called website is a custom field let me create that custom field here so how to create that just go to the contact click on this gear icon click edit button edit object and now click on the fills and relationship click on new and create website that is called URL so this is the data type URL click on new and let me create website custom field click on this new button next button leave it as it is all the setting click on the next and save it so now you can see under the contact we have this custom field that is called website now you can see the website right so I need account website field value under the contact website field value so how to do that let me show you so we already created this button and links you know very well just added this new contact button added and here just let me add that uh, custom field value here so how to do that like website underscore underscore c is equals to that particular account website name so dot website so here you can see the website right so if you not sure about this uh, that is coming from where so just you can click on this one and here just you can select website field let's say website so now you can see the website right so it's having like website like that so it is coming from the contact but I need account website so how to do that just let me remove it and here let me remove this expression and you will be get an idea just change it to account so here you can see the account click on this drop down list and here you will be see website so once you click on this website it's automatic comes here that is called merge field so here now after that we have to check the syntax is valid or not now you can see no error syntax merge field is successfully done now let me save it and once you save it 
now you have to go to the object manager open the account object click on this you know we already set up all the things so now you have to do what click open the any account let's say this one this one and just let me refresh this one first of all because it's a new things and new updates so just click on this new contact and now finally now you can see the website so finally you can see default value under this new contact coming from the account so now you can see this phone number last name and come down now you can see the website automatically comes here so this is how we can hack the url in the salesforce lightning so if you like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates like this until then bye bye take care see ya bye bye